Okay, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to the webinar. Uh, I'll just get started right away. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, BABG series of amplifiers. And uh, I'll just uh, start going through the PowerPoint right away. So there's an antique toe amplifier from 1997. Um, and as it says, the BABG series of mixer amplifiers is a standard of excellence for BGM applications. So uh, BA and BJ uh, mixer amplifiers continue to have a strong presence in the uh, BGM uh, foreground music market. Uh, this family of amplifiers offers a variety of different power and options for real or different real world scenarios. So it's built on a successful legacy. Uh, we continue to improve the product through feedback from our customers and end users. It's very installer friendly, it's flexible, and it's cost competitive. Um, it is ideal but not limited to restaurants and bars, retail shops, offices, bars, and classrooms. So um, this is back one of the amplifiers, the uh, BA200 series mixer amp. Um, it has two channel broadcast possible for system expansion as acquired through uh, music on hold zone two outputs on BG series amplifiers. Uh, there are tamper proof bass and treble controls which preserve system settings. There are security knobs for volume control included, and there is remote master volume control um, possible by using an external volume control, and there are RCA line input jacks. This is uh, the BA-235 versus BA-260 comparison. Uh, the 235 is obviously 35 watts, uh, 260 is 60 watts of power consumption. You can see the difference there between uh, 90 watts and 130 watts. And the various uh, output settings, uh, which are four ohms, uh, 25 volts, and 70 volt, and uh, line input is the same across the board. Board 0 dB to plus 4 dB, uh, 10 k ohms unbalanced removal terminal block or RCA jack, and it comes with rack mounting brackets, which are listed there. There are two general broadcasts possible for system expansion required through the MOH uh, zone two output on on these amplifiers. Uh, they're tamper proof. Anyway, there are, uh, here's a couple of samples of a single input PA system uh, with a classroom system where you would have uh, projection audio or the source audio coming into the uh, simple amplifier, the VA260, going out to F-series ceiling speakers. And there uh, is another example on the bottom where you would have multi-zone in retail restaurant uh, BGM paging system application where you might have a couple of music sources and a microphone uh, going into the BG-235 and uh, one output uh, going to a 70 volt system up to the F-series ceiling speakers and uh, the line out from the BG-35 would be going into uh, the line in of the BA-260s which would continue to uh, F-series box speaker. Um, so here uh, the uh, BG-2000 series, a uh, slightly higher mo uh, model, uh, the BG-2035, 2060, 2120, and 2240D AM mixer amplifier. These are performance-oriented, cost-effective, they have total reliability. These are ideal for music distribution and music on hold. There is quick setup, easy installation, simple configuration in a system and it's equipped with music on hold out that permits two-channel broadcast when used in conjunction with the optional booster amplifier, the uh, BA-235, 35 watt, or the BA-260, 60 watts. So um, com this is a compact five-channel mixer amplifier for paging, background, foreground music distribution, and music messaging on hold. All inputs and outputs with removable terminal, terminal blocks, also known as Phoenix connectors, allow quick and easy installation. Any of uh, five inputs are assignable to the music on hold uh, zone two out to fulfill specific VGM requirements. There are three line inputs with line one or one line tell switchable while line two and three are equipped with RCA pin jacks. These come with phantom power, uh, 24 volt DC incorporated for the a, a condenser mic input. Uh, the module slot accepts optional 900 series plug-in modules for custom system configurations. The rear panel mounted dip switches allow for easy configuring of settings. 
And uh, just a note, the BG 2240D Class D 240 watts uh, only comes at 70 volts. So here's a comparison between the various uh, wattages of the models, um, 35 watts, 60 watts, 120 watts, and 240 watts. Um, shows the power consumptions there. And the input mic minus 60 dB at 600 ohms, which is electronically balanced with a removable terminal block. Um, line one is minus 10 dB and then minus 20 dB at tel. And then uh, line one slash tel uh, selectable uh, 10K ohms electronically balanced removable terminal block. At line two and three are minus 10 dB, uh, 10K ohms unbalanced removable terminal block and RCA jacks module. So, the outputs uh, of the, the speakers, uh, the 35 up to the 2120 are exactly the same, uh, 4 ohms, 25 volts, and 70 volts. And then, as I said before, the uh, 2240D is only 70 volts. And phantom power, uh, there is an on-off switch for uh, your condenser mic. So this is one of our new products. Uh, it's the powerful BG2480D. It's a 5 input mixer, mixer amplifier. It's lightweight and compact digital amplifier with high efficiency amplifier output. It's designed for background, music distribution, and general announcements. It's equipped with a music on hold output that permits two independent zones when used in conjunction with an optional power amplifier, which is equipped with a line level analog audio input, and it has easy dip switch settings. There are removable input output terminal blocks for easy wiring and an external uh, remote uh, volume control input for localized volume adjustments as possible. The rated output for this amp is 480 watts, power consumption 600 watts, rated output 110 watts, and uh, the inputs, uh, similar to the other ones, minus 60 dB, 600 ohms, electronically balanced, removable terminal. Um, there's a block line, one uh, minus 10 dB, uh, or tell at minus 20 dB, Line one tell selectable 10k ohms electronically balanced a removable terminal block line two and then uh, three is minus 10 dB uh, 10k ohms unbalanced remo removable terminal block or RCA jack module. So this one uh, the output is four ohms uh, 70 volts or 100 volts and then uh, again an on-off switch for uh, phantom power at plus 24 volts DC. And here's a uh, large-scale um, multi-zone BGM paging distribution uh, system example, where you could have your microphone, uh, CD player, FM tuner, satellite receiver, DVD, uh, TV, or online stream uh, going into uh, your TOA A9120 DHM2 out to the uh, F1300 WTWP directly, and then to uh, the uh, ceiling speakers, the F122s, and then uh, the BG2480 would accept outputs from the 9120 and then pass them on to those uh, those lists of four speakers there, dependent speakers and uh, wall speakers, and then um, a couple of ceiling speakers. And you can see all the divisions there, which are uh, connected to the ZM9014 remote control panels. And then this is another example uh, of how uh, one of the, the BG2480 uh, can work. So you can have uh, music source one, music source two, telephone uh, that come in, can come in uh, as a paging priority. Um, and then I, your optional PM660U paging mic, which uh, can also go in and also be priority. And the, uh, the uh, 2480 uh, does come with a, a slot for various 900 series modules, and then uh, that would output to some F series ceiling speakers. Um, then this is a mid-scale uh, zone example, uh, BGM paging distribution system. So you have a regular telephone with PBX, which would go into your telephone input, uh, your music source, and then a microphone, and then uh, there would be a, a remote volume control. Um, for, from one of our remote control panels with an attenuator uh, going out to our F122 ceiling speakers. And then uh, in the uh, classroom and meeting room, um, you have the uh, private GS905 infrared transmitter receiver and an IR802 tuner for uh, with the 
microphones, uh, IR200M and, or uh, 310M transmitters, and then uh, from the tuner, you can take an input to the BG2120 and then come out to the F-series ceiling speakers. Um, this is the amplifier comparison uh, chart, so you can see the 2035, 2060, 2120, 2240, and 2480 on the top line uh, with their corresponding wattages have five inputs. They do paging. Uh, they have a condenser a microphone input for, with uh, phantom power for that. Uh, priority muting, auto and manual. Uh, the outputs, there's one main and one uh, messaging music on hold. The unit size for rack mounting is uh, 2U with additional features of EQ, treble and bass, uh, the VG220, 220, excuse me, 235 which are 20 watts and 35 watts, come with three inputs, paging option. There is no phantom power, uh, priority mute is auto manual, um, one main and uh, one music on hold output. Uh, uh, the rack is 2U half, and uh, again, EQ treble base. Um, there is a uh, BA 235 and 260 power amplifiers are 35 watts and 60 watts. We only have one input, and uh, there is no paging, no phantom power, nor priority mute. And the outputs are one main and one MOH. And again, t two U half and EQ travel base. So, uh, do, does anyone have any questions? I have uh, one question there, where you were uh, showing the, I believe it was an M twenty one or ninety one twenty, and you also had the uh, amplifier in there. Looks like it has four zone output capabilities. Uh, not what I understand of it. So you're talking about, let's see if I can go back to that one. This one. Go back. Yes, yes, right there. Yeah. Actually, that's a good observation because uh, there, are, there aren't that many outputs for it. So I, I think those are just uh, those are just examples. Of uh, okay. various things that they could go out to. I would expect to see you know, like a DA 250F or something like that. Yeah, that that would make more sense. You'd have to put a 250 in line to do something like that. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. So thank you for joining us, and uh, this concludes our webinar.